So, what exactly does one do when they're walking through their local fruit market and find t two two-pound boxes of roasted red peppers uh, in the discount section for only three bucks? You take them home and you make roasted red pepper sauce because that is a damn good deal. Uh, roasted red pepper sauce is one of the easier pasta sauces to make. It can be used for all kinds of different things. You can even thin it down and, and, and eat it as a soup if you'd like. Some people enjoy that. Uh, roasted red pepper sauce is really good cold as well. Um, so what we did here is we got all of the peppers um, except for a couple of them that weren't good. But that's acceptable. For three bucks, psh, I don't care. Uh, you got them all cored, chopped up, um, got the tops off. And then what you do is, is you're going to take a, a, sh a cookie sheet here and you're going to put them into the oven and you're going to broil them in the broiler on high until they're blackened on both sides. And these are getting real close now. Um, but you want to see some nice blackening on all of them, like half dollar to silver dollar size black spots. Um, once you get to that point, you are going to take them out and you are going to load them into this blender. Well this blender. That would be weird to be in the house. I, I don't know how I feel about people blending things in my house. But, but anyway, so you add them into the blender and blend them all up. Puree so it's nice and smooth. You're still going to have a little of texture because the peppers are completely cooked yet. Um, so far we've got about a gallon to a gallon and a half of the sauce made and we're just waiting for the rest of these peppers to finish up now. So, in the meantime, you've got some other things to prepare as well. Uh, fresh basil is to taste. I am a basil maniac. I will put a ton in mine. Uh, some people don't like basil. You can leave it out if you want. It just adds a nice little citrusy bite to the sauce. Um, and then you're going to add in a pound and a half of mushrooms that are going to be diced and sautéed uh, in olive oil and frying pan. And then, oh, the piece de resistance. Joe Caputo's homemade spicy Italian sausage, which is frickin' epic. Um, if, you, if you live in you know the northwest suburbs and, and you can get to Joe Caputo's one time in your life, it is such an awesome place to go shopping. Um, you know, I mean, uh, I eat all of these peppers for three bucks. Everybody else just throws stuff away. Oh, it's, it's a little bad. Throw it away, you don't sell it. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing that we need to get to here is you're going to have a can of tomato puree, two cans of crushed tomatoes. Uh, those are 29 ounce cans. And then two cans of Hunt's tomato paste or whatever brand you use, those are six ounce cans. Uh, you're going to add all that into the sauce once you are done roasting the peppers and blending them all up and adding your other ingredients. Um, and then you are going to add anywhere from 10 to 15 tablespoons of olive oil. I know that sounds like a lot, but this is a huge recipe, um, so it does need it. You can cut it back if you'd like to, or you can use a different type of oil if you want, um, but I, I really recommend the olive oil. Um, and because I'm a dunce and I forgot to pick up some cloves of garlic, we're going to be using canned garlic today, but I'm still going to roast it in the oven. Um, so it'll bring out a nice little sweet flavor to it. And it's packed in olive oil too. It's a little bit better than the water packed stuff you usually pick up at the store. Uh, and then we are going to dice up and blacken up anywhere from five to five to six onions. Uh, these are smaller yellow onions. Uh, if you use bigger ones, just accordingly, whatever works for you. Uh, it's also kind of the taste too. I do like onions and I like garlic, so there will be a lot of that present in it. Um, but then what you're going to do is you're going to save about two cups of those diced blackened onions and throw them in the blender, not mine again, because that's weird, and um, you're going to puree them just to add that onion flavor throughout the sauce. Once everything is added together and you're done, you're going to be sitting at your table having a joygasm while having a foodgasm while wishing you were married to Kyle because he's an awesome cook. So, anyways. If you'd like to come over for dinner, it should be ready by about 7.30 or so. Until then, 